Pankuete. Barthélemy Lumino. So, so far from me, I've been for almost two years on the road with OVO. I will miss performing every night. I will miss the people, of course, like my partners. Very amazing experiences. So I'm going to transform and I'm still going to be the same, but uh, see you in costume. See you soon. And you're going to be amazing. And in this venue, we are a lot closer to the audience. I walked onto the stage, and it appeared a lot smaller than we thought it would be. The musicians were a lot more downstage, so I was like, Jenny Parker, <laughs> is this going to work? And then we measured it, everything was fine. You can see we're vibrant, we really are excited. <laughs> Um, I play with Ladybug. Um, I've been with the show for three and a half years since the creation. Yeah, the Ladybug is the, the, the romantic in the show. I'm a translator for the Chinese group. Did you ever think you would perform at a world famous opera house? Oh, this is a big surprise for her. Yeah? So is it, are you really proud to be here? Sure. Well, my name's Lee Braley. Yes, I was here in 2000 for the Olympic Games. My job is to make you kind of confused. Uh, and give you a giggle at the same time. And so I've been excited to come back. It's been such a long time and this is such a great city. So. It's always been a dream to look at the uh, Opera House from the outside, but I never dreamt about being inside because I never knew it was possible. I'm going to try to get everything preset as much as possible during the awards themselves. Well, in the spring of uh, 2012, before we arrived in, uh, in Australia, we received a request from the Elfman Awards to see if there was a possibility to have an act or two or a special performance to the Elfman Awards. We started probably in June. Then when we arrived here, it was easier to be in touch with uh, the people in Sydney. Uh, so I would say probably more in July, uh, August, that we really started in the core of the, the, the planning process. I just want you to enjoy it because it's going to go by so incredibly fast, yeah? So you have one moment, and that's the moment that counts, and just be in that moment. Have a great show. It's been a busy day, but a good day, and uh, very privileged to be in the upper house. That was a good answer. Which, from everything I've seen so far, everybody has done a wonderful job. I can't wait to see how we're going to rock the opera house. How would you describe the day? Uh, this has been a fantastic day. And um, I was standing on stage thinking, I really want to sing something because I'm on stage at the Opera House. Uh, I knew the outside by uh, because it's an icon here in Australia. So I know now what's inside and I, I have the chance to be on stage. For me, that, that's good. It's the first for me. Straight from Brazil and being here in Australia to do this is, uh, I'm so excited. For a little circus troupe from Canada. Well, maybe that's a bit of an understatement. When Cirque du Soleil first pitched their tent in Quebec back in 1984, there were a mere 73 tumblers, grumblers, bumblers, and fumblers on the payroll. But today, 
The business has 5,000 employees worldwide, including more than 1,300 artists representing more than 50 nationalities and speaking 25 different languages. So you can just imagine what the green room's like. <laughs> Close to 15 million people will pay to see Cirque du Soleil shows this year, not to mention the 2,000 of you who will see it tonight for free. Their latest show to tour Australia is called OVO, and it invites us into the curious world of insects, though sadly no insy wincy spiders. <laughs> Currently playing under the big top in Sydney before touring to Adelaide, Melbourne and Perth, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Cirque du Soleil. Oh, sugar, 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 sugar,